Hello, and um, welcome to my World of Tanks replay with Dakar. And in this replay, I'm in my T29, which is the American Tier 7 heavy tank. And it's the main tank line I've played, the heavy tank line I've played in game so far. I've got a feeling when I move on to another um, nationalities tank line, I'm probably going to be a little bit off because. The American ones, uh, so the T1 Heavy, M6, T29, T32, all feature amazing gun mantles. And it's one feature I absolutely love. Can't help but get down, down in hold down position with a decent gun mantle, shooting over the top of a hill or something over a rock and not being penetrated. Either. I really like it. So that's what this tank's great for. Just getting hauled down. The frontal armor isn't fantastic, it's nicely float, but it's all about that gun mount look. And so I'm going up the side. Everybody seems to be camping at the rocks as they usually do. So there's one tank up there being lit up. You couldn't see him, he was hiding. Uh, that tank there, the LCAMX, is hiding as well. No, well, nobody's moving, so I'm going to have to move up. This guy behind me. Uh, I get one shot. I missed. This guy behind me on our team. He's a bit of a pain in the arse, to be honest. And you'll see why shortly. So I'm pushing up. We lost a few tanks up this side. I think we lost two or three of you just here. So I'm going to dip down and go around the side. Cromwell will be spinning past. Nice little shot on him there. I figure the T34 85 there will deal with him. I've got this bad boy to deal with. BK 3001 each. And so, I'll finish him off. That's the first kill. So far, I've only hit two targets, yet I've done 943 damage from three shots. I mean, the gun on this is nice, gonna the hit the guns on the American heavies from the M6 to the T29 and the T32 are all in the 300 damage range, not much higher. See, this is all right, this T34 H5 behind me. Pushing me up the hill. What would he have done if I'd have got up the hill and I was being stared down by two heavies or something? Not to mention the damage he could cause himself by trying to ram me. Now, up the top here. Got me, the Churchill 7, the Jag uh, Panzer, and this guy. Finish off the M4. Ah. Yag Panther. Catch him on the side. Somebody knocked his tracks off. So he's not moving anywhere very quickly. Now reload, reload. And just as I fire, the angling was too low. He's uh, just bounced off his front, really. I mean, it says critical hit. I, d I doubt he even got a critical hit out of anything. So the T34H5 has just died. Killed by another T 34 H5. So now it's me, the Churchill 7, and the Shield Panzer 4. Tank Destroyer. T 115 just moved back as I was about to clip him on the front of my shot. So I can see the base is getting a bit. starting to push onto the base a bit, and we've just got a Tiger and an M4 A3 E2 medium tank. I can never remember if it's the Easy 2 or the Easy 8, which has got the higher armor and slower speed. I'll f I'm getting one of them soon anyway. But. So the T25-2 there. Not sure what he was aiming at. He had a very strange angle on him, unless he could see the Tiger down at the bottom there. So the Churchill that came up with us though, he's decided to push, and he's an absolute mongol. If you take a look, I 
take one shot at the Churchill 7. And hit him. That was a big hit from something. 246 damage. It's got to have been the T25-2 there. I was going to aim for that T25-2 and saw that the Churchill decided to block the shot. So I went for the Churchill 7. Enemy one. And the Churchill 7 on our team rushed. And died. Instead of waiting back. Churchill Sam's got awesome armor. So the only two tanks left in play for us are me and this Jagdpanzer 4. And he's hold down. And he's got the upgraded turret as well, which has got strong frontal armor. But I'm trying to distract the shots from from the my TD at the side of me here. I'm getting small hits, probably from the medium tank. Somebody's firing high explosives at me. Pen the front of the Churchill 7. Bouncing so much more. I must be hauled down. Yoke Panzer 4, now the T25 2. And I took the Churchill. Now I know that direction there is another tank firing at me. And seeing as I know the T150s at the base, it has to be that medium. Can't see him. Pull back behind the hill to give a little bit of cover. See me in the Jagdpanzer now, it's just us two. So we spot each other. Just like we have for the other two tanks. So I'm heading back to base. I know the T-150, if he jumps in that cap circle, he could win it if we go to theirs. Because all it would take is that medium to interrupt ours. And the T-150 could get it, so... There he is, he's heading into the cap circle. First shot and he missed. The Jagdpanzer missed. Uh, reload. And get him. So now... It's just one more tank left. Me and the Jagdpanzer 4 here. Heading up. And I know the shots came from this way, so... Go to the chase, heading straight where they came from. He's over here near the... Near where the road cuts through the little hills there. That's the last direction I saw them being fired from. So the Egg Panzer's heading more towards the cap circle. So I think he would have been going up to try and lure the medium tank out. If he's standing in the cap circle, then he would have had to have come out to shoot. I'm just going hunting. See, the T29 speed isn't too bad, it's quite comfortable. You can relocate quite well if you need to. It's not one of the slow ones, it's certainly not like a dog. God, I hate dogs. Dogs are alright. Um, I was going to go hunting. And then I thought, well, if I get in the cap circle as well, I'll definitely have to come out. But he shows himself. So this was the T-34H5 that killed the T-34H5 that was being a dick to me. So, time to reap some revenge. Find him behind the house. And it's a non-destructible house, so I can't really do much about that. So I know he's either going to come out this side or that. The Eggpants are probably targeting on the other side. So I keep this corner well secured. Now I'm in... I don't know, I thought I was in range for it to be automatically spotted. Yep, so the Eggpants has gone around that way. And I'm typing to be ready. Time to be ready. And... Ooh, left him on full life. The yeah, Panzer did, and it goes back too far. And he's mine for the pickings. And that's how two tanks 
work together and win the match. I'm sure if we'd have gone our separate ways, we would have probably lost that. And here we are with the scores. So, got my mastery first. Not too bad. And steel wall. Killed five, spotted three. Got some visual assist on a few extra. Lots of modules and damaged five. 41,623 credits and 1,415 experience. And that's undoubled as well. So, very nice. And so on to the uh, team scores. Came second on experience gained and I believe I came first on damage done. Looks like it. Look how many team people on our team who did absolutely not. They need to be ashamed. That's that six players didn't do an ounce of damage. Ugh. So on to the final score of the detailed report. 25 shots, 17 pens. 3,956 damage. I can live with that. I'm happy with that. Um, potential damage received 6,115. And still, what was really earned with that one, wasn't it? And 854 damage from Slotten. Not bad. 41,000 credits. The ammo resupply was high. I don't remember firing gold in it, but it's highly possible. Maybe my ammo is just that expensive. 1,415 experience, so yeah, not bad a game at all. Just shows when two random strangers get together, you can pull off a victory when it's almost certain defeat. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.